Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is going to be bringing you up to date on some current and future projects. And as you can see in the split screen here, uh, these are the various projects that we're working on right now. Uh, the first project is the um, is the crash but not dead 69Z28, as you can see here from a from the very first video I did on this car. It had a pretty catastrophic crash on the A-pillar there after it hit a tree. And um, you, can, you can check this out in a series of videos of us uh, repairing this car and bringing it back to its formal glory. And in the split screen there on the left, you can see where we were uh, test fitting all of the new panels and everything. And on the right, uh, that's where we have now attached the car to the jig after uh, we uh, test fitted all of the panels. And again, in a previous video, you can see the whole car uh, with all the new panels test fitted. And now we've removed those panels after we've attached the car to the jig. And we are currently adjusting the car to the jig right now and as soon as we're done with that we'll reattach the panels and weld them in place and get going on the bodywork on that car so it's been a while but it's kind of a slow tedious process and again this car was so crashed that you know it takes a while on my Le Mans Blue Z28 again previous videos I showed uh, the complete restoration of this car up to the paint job and right now the car is ready to be put back together again but I'm going to be finishing a couple of motorcycle projects before I jump on this car and get it back together again and that'll probably be later on this year probably around November or December so uh, then back to the motorcycles uh, or first of all this is the these are the engine parts for the blue car and that'd be the first thing that I do on the next video on this car is putting the engine together, uh, the original 302. And you can see that there in the background. So, and these are just all the various new and NOS parts that will be going back into that engine. Again, I have previous videos on all of this, so you can check them out on my playlist. Then the next car is the 67 Rally Sport SS. And this, this car is an original, pretty much uh, untouched car. But we are in the middle of, of restoring that car. And again, in previous videos, I got the engine running and uh, got it all back together again. But now we have completely disassembled the car uh, attached it to a rotisserie as you can see here and we ended up replacing a bunch of uh, body panels that had been rusted out when we got the car all apart we saw that there was quite a bit of rust damage uh, hidden away here and there that weren't that that wasn't really that evident in the beginning so we've replaced both quarter panels uh, the trunk pan and there were some patches that we had to do to the floorboard inside the car. And here is a, uh, a shot of the original engine. Uh, this engine is in really good condition, only has 62,000 original miles, and it's got 150 to 75 pounds of compression in all cylinders. So we're just going to paint that up and make it look like new again and then just reinstall it into the car. So here's a shot of the uh, interior of the 67 and some of the patch panels that we have replaced on the floorboard. Uh, this was during the process. We've uh, gotten all the surface rust off the top here and, and primed it, ready to go, ready to be painted. Uh, the driver's side uh, floor which was pretty rotted out has been patched and we're in the process of doing the body work on that 
I'll just let the camera roll around here. There was a little bit of body work to do to the doors and and so on because there was a little bit of a damage there. Um, we're reconditioning the uh, the firewall and we've sandblasted the whole bottom of the car and now we're in the process of uh, you know getting rid of some of the surface rust and so on. This shot here most of the exterior bodywork is pretty much done now and it's almost ready to go into the paint paint booth and that'll be coming up here real soon. By the way we've replaced uh, both rear inner and outer fender wells along with the uh, quarter panel and in this shot Ovidio is working on the uh, firewall there getting some surface rust off of there. Here's the new trunk pan that's being installed. Again it's we patched it in. This is the subframe which has been uh, completely all the uh, surface rust been removed and coming up here you'll see a shot of it all primed up. Here are the inner and outer new fender wells on both sides in the rear and you can see the bottom of the car has been sandblasted and gotten all the surface rust off. Some more shots of the floor patches. They're doing a really nice job on the bodywork on these floor patches. I mean, you won't even be able to hardly tell that anything's been patched. And you'll see that coming up here in a second. There's another shot of the firewall after the rust was removed and smoothed out. Again, you can see the exterior of the car is pretty much ready to be painted at this point. So we're just finishing up some final patchwork on the interior part of the car. And then coming up here, you'll see it, uh, the bottom of the car and a lot of the bodywork underneath the car. And I mean, they are really doing a nice job under there, almost like it was exposed. You won't even be able to see any of this, but as you can see there, the patchwork is almost undetectable. After this is all uh, painted underneath here, like I said, it'll be pretty much undetectable. Here's the bodywork on the trunk pan. This is going to be a really nice car when it's done. Well optioned car. Again, if you watch the playlist on this car, you can see this car was really loaded from the factory. Inside the paint booth, they're getting the hood and the fender wells ready to paint and steering wheel. And here's the subframe all primed, ready to paint. It's got the typical damage under there, as you can see. 
So then the next project that I want to bring you up to date on are the two 1980 CBXs that I'm in the process of restoring right now. And again, I've got a couple of uh, introduction videos on these two bikes, tearing them down and so on. And to bring you up to date on these bikes, all the powder coating has been done. The chrome has all been done. Uh, a lot of the plating has been done. Some of the, there's still some plating to do. But as you can see here, I've got both engines torn down and they're ready to get painted up. And hopefully here in the next video, I'll have um, some shots of the repainted engine cases and I'll start putting everything back together again. The valve cover and the cylinders are all ready to repaint right now. This is one of the engines on one of the bikes which only has 12,000 miles on it. So I'm really going to just put rings and paint the, the engine. And I'm having that the heads done right now. And then this is a 79 that I'll be putting together pretty much at the same time as the 280s, if not, if not at the same time, right afterwards. And then back to the 80s, uh, I've got all the bodywork is all painted and ready to go, as you can see here. The paint turned out beautiful, of course. Both sets of bodywork are painted and ready to go. So then uh, dealing with future projects coming up after these projects are done, I've got a 82900F, as you can see here. This bike has an original, this is an original 5,600 mile bike and I have sold this bike and the new owner wants me to convert it to the Euro version. And to those who may not know what the Euro version is, the Euro European version 900F Bulldor has similar handlebars and instrument cluster to the CBX. And there's a shot of the bike of the European version coming up here. There it is there. And the paint scheme is different. And as I said, the, Europe, the uh, European version has CBX handlebars and instruments on it, as you can see here in the photo. So I've had the bodywork painted, and it's the uh, candy, uh, almost like candy glory red, but not quite the same. But as you can see here, the paint turned out really nice. So it's ready to put stripes on the Euro stripes, as you saw in the uh, photograph there. So later, uh, later this month, I'll have videos on this bike along with the 80 CBXs. Um, this bike will probably be done after the CBXs. Then after all the bikes are done and I start working on the blue Z28, as you remember in my Oklahoma video, I picked up a Hugger Orange 69 Z28 and that project, I'll probably be starting on that car later this year or early next year. And this, this car, as you can see there, the, the options for this car are listed there. And this is a rust-free original 69Z matching numbers, except for the transmission, uh, but net matching number rear end and engine. And this car is loaded with options. So I'm really excited about getting going on this car after the first of the year, probably. So anyway, that's, that's it for this video. I just wanted to bring you guys up to date. It's been a while since I've made a video. And uh, I promise that there'll be more videos coming very soon. So. Uh, probably in another week or so, I'll have updates on the uh, CBX restorations. So again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you very soon. Thank you.